Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel Dhyani Classes. If you are watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever new video will be uploaded. So in today's video, we will cover the third part of the chapter, Nelson Mandela, Long Walk to Freedom from Class 10th CBSC. So let's get started. So in the second part of the chapter, we have seen that Nelson Mandela shared his own views and opinion on how society teaches people how to hate one another and then people started hating each other, even their own people and said if a man is able to learn how to hate, then in the same way, a man can also be taught how to love one another. So Nelson Mandela believes that if people can be taught to hate each other in the same way, they can also be taught to love each other and when he was in jail along with his freedom fighter colleague they were criticized and exploited by the white people out of the limit but then he saw one of the security guards and he saw him a glimmer of humanity and he was looking little kind and sympathetic then nelson mandela understood that there is a hope behind their sufferings and then he assured himself to keep going and decided to continue the fight for the country and its people. So let's begin with the last part of the chapter now. In a civil and human society. So what do you mean by civil and human society? That means a society where people are polite, more respectful towards each other and have common rights. And civil society is where all the human values such as truth, right, conduct, peace, love and non-violence are followed and respect these human values and says each man is able to fulfill those obligations according to his own inclinations and abilities so in this civil and humane society it is easy for a man to fulfill or work out on these two obligations according to his inclinations and abilities that means a man will be able to do something for the society and his nation as per his capacity or capabilities and will take high interest on spending some time for social work and along with it his own family. So in this way he is saying that it is very easy in a such a society where everything is good and fine. So inclination means a tendency or urge to act. But in a country like South Africa it was almost impossible for a man of my birth and color to fulfill both of those obligations. So here he is saying that when it comes to South Africa, it is not as easy as other nations and especially a man from South Africa because of racial discrimination. That means in South Africa, they treat people based on their skin color, community, background and caste. And being born black, it is very difficult for a man to form a civil and human society in South Africa. And it is also very difficult for a man to fulfill those two obligations. So obligations means responsibility or liabilities. Further he says in South Africa, a man of color who attempted to live as a human being was punished and isolated. So here Nelson Mandela is saying that in South Africa, a man of color, that means a man with black skin or born with black color, who attempted to live as human being, that means if a black skinned man trying to live his life like a normal being, such as going to work, getting married, having fun in life and all, he would be punished because he did not have rights or freedom to live his life as per his wish and would also be isolated. That means he would be sent to the jail or any other isolated place considering as a guilty because he would not be given the freedom to do anything as per his wish. So attempt means make an effort to do something or set out. In South Africa, a man who tried to fulfill his duty to his people and was inevitably ripped from his family and his home and was forced to live a life apart. So here he is saying that in South Africa, if a black man wants to do something in his life or if he tries to fulfill his duties to his people, that means if a black man tried to help another, then this man was inevitably ripped from his family. That means that person will be removed from his family and friends and forced to live his leave his entire family without prior notice and was forced to live a life apart and he was asked or he would be forced to live his life separately for this uncertain period and a man doesn't know when he will meet his family once again and says a tolerant existence of secrecy and rebellion so this black man would not be allowed to meet his family 
and be forced to live alone without anybody's notice in a twilight existence that means a small place where dim lights are flickering all the time and this man would also become a rebel that means he was illegally found guilty or breaking laws or doing other illegal activities and would remain under police custody in an unknown or secret place just like a criminal so rebellion means civil disobedience or breaking laws illegally and secrecy means keeping something very secret or hidden i did not in the beginning choose to place my people above my family so here he is saying that in the beginning he was not aware of his country and its people except his family and did not know even the importance of his country and people and says but in attempting to serve my people that means when he slowly and gradually started understanding what is happening with the black people and he was trying to help his people then what happened i found that i was prevented from fulfilling my obligations as a son a brother a father and a husband that means when white people got to know that this thing the police arrested him and prevented him that means stopped him from doing or from fulfilling his duties as a son a brother a father and a husband so this thing was happening with black skinned people in south africa at that time i was not born with the hunger to be free so here he is saying that he did not have a plan to fight against the white people and the apartheid system when he was a child and says i was born free free in every way that i could know so he was free to go everywhere he wanted to go and do many things such as playing different games and doing different activities as a kid and free to run in the fields near my mother's hut free to swim in the clear stream that ran through my village free to roast mealies under the stars and ride the broad back of slow moving bulls so as he was free to do certain things especially if he follow all the instructions set by the family and he was free to run around and he was free to swim in the clear rushing water then ran through his village that ran through his village and he was free to roast mealies that means he was free to cook or fry corn and eat them sitting under the clear sky and also he was free to see stars in the sky and broad back of slow moving bulls that means he was also free to sit on the strong back of the bulls and having a nice ride like any other child so clear stream means a neat and clean rushing water as long as i obeyed my father and abided by the customs of my tribe i was not troubled by the laws of man or god so here he is saying that as long as he obeyed his father that means he had to follow rules and regulations and the rules set by his father or set by the customs of his tribe that means a group of people who takes care of the community so by the time he was not troubled by anyone either by the government or anybody else so troubles means problematic or stressful it was only when i began to learn that my boyhood freedom was an illusion so when he grew up and understood the fact it is only then his desire for freedom was an illusion that means it was a kind of false idea or belief that he was not really free and says when i discovered as a young man that my freedom had already been taken from me that i began to hunger for it so when he became a young man he understood that he was not free anymore and he had to follow rules and regulations or instructions what his father and group of people had said and then he got to know that he was not really free from doing what he wished to do and then he began to hunger for it that means he started to fight for the freedom in a very uh, silent way so discovered means come across or bring to light at first as a student i wanted freedom only for myself the transitory freedoms of being able to stay out at night read what i pleased and go where i chose so here he is saying that when he was a student he raised his voice for freedom for himself only not for the country and its people and says the transitory freedoms of being able to stay out at night that means he wanted small small freedoms such as going outside from home without taking any permission or staying out at night attending late night celebrations without any restrictions or read whatever he wanted and go wherever i chose that means 
come and go wherever he wanted to go without any problem so these are the transitory freedoms he wanted as a young student so transitory freedom means freedom that are not permanent later as a young man in johannesburg i yearned for the basic and honorable freedoms of achieving my potential of earning my keep of marrying and having a family so here he is saying that when he was a young man he was living in johannesburg and being a young man i yearned that means he wanted the basic and honorable freedoms of achieving his potential that means he wanted the basic fundamental rights to look for the job and earn money or getting married and then have a family and says the freedom not to be obstructed in a lawful life that means he urged for the freedom to live his life as per his wish and in a good manner such as getting married and having a family and he didn't want any disturbance or distractions in his life while doing all this further he says but then i slowly saw that not only was i not free but my brothers and sister were not free so when he was a young man he wanted basic and honorable freedom to get married and look for the job or have a family but later on he got to know that he was not really free to do all these things and he had to follow all the rules made by white people and he was unable to lead his lawful life and even his brothers and sisters were also not free to do things as per their wish i saw that it was not just my freedom that was curtailed but the freedom of everyone who looked like i did so here he is saying that there were many people before him who tried many time to get these basic fundamental rights but that was curtailed that means instead of freedom white people prevented prevented them who raised their voices so nelson mandela was trying to fight not for only his freedom but people like him who were not free to do what they wanted to do so curtailed means cut down or decrease something that is when i joined the african national congress and that is when the hunger for my own freedom became the greater hunger for the freedom of my people so here he is saying that when he became young and wanted basic freedom to do things without restrictions but he was not allowed to live his life freely and then he thought about african national congress party and joined the party for the sake of uh, people like him and could enjoy the freedom in their life at least with the basic fundamental rights and that's why he joined the african national congress party and says what is when the hunger for my own freedom became the greater hunger for the freedom of my people that means nelson mandela started fighting for the freedom not for him only but for the freedom of his country and its people because every black skinned individual suffering from the apartheid policy formed by the white people so through the party he wanted full support from the black people in order to get rid of apartheid policy and from the white supremacy and that uh, this is how his own freedom became the greater hunger for the freedom of his countrymen it was this desire for the freedom of my people to live their lives with dignity and self respect that animated my life so here he is saying that he had a strong feeling of getting freedom for his people so that they can live their life with dignity and self respect that means they can live their life as per their wishes with pride and confidence and nobility and without any further bondages and says that animated my life that means due to burning desires of getting people from bondages and getting freedom for his people made him alive with immense force of sacrifices and troubles so that's why he is saying that this desire animated his life and says animated my life so in this way he started his journey to look forward the freedom for his people and he understood that this freedom is very important in order to release people from apartheid policy and they, this thought made him very strong and courageous to fight against the white people and he fought for the freedom for his country and says that transform a frightened young man into bold one so now he is saying that he has a responsibility to fight for the basic fundamental rights and freedom for his people so that they can stay with their family and friends happily and they will be able to live life as per their own wishes and as per their own terms with high self respect so when he was a young man he was a very normal young man and uh, he wanted to live his life very peacefully with his family without any restrictions and he was a quite frightened 
because of the apartheid policy but later on he changed himself into bold one that means he changed himself very drastically to fight for the freedom of his country and its people and he started fighting against the white supremacy in order to get freedom and he was even ready to go to the jail and uh, he was ready to bear the pain of sacrifices so in this way he transformed himself a frightened young man to a bold one and says that drove a law abiding attorney to become a criminal that means he followed all the rules and regulations and stand up with all terms and conditions set by the government because he wanted set his country free from white supremacy and at that time he was fighting for the individuals basic rights and even following all the rules and regulations white people used to treat him like a criminal because they were calling him a criminal so law abiding means stand up or follow rules and regulations and attorney means a lawyer or representatives of legal matters and says that turned a family loving husband into a man without a home that forced a life loving man to live like a monk so finally nelson mandela was not able to live his life like a normal man because he decided to fight for freedom earlier he wanted to live his life like others such as getting married having a family with basic fundamental human rights but now he has changed himself into bold one and then he was forced to leave his house and family and live like a monk or yogi so now he became a man without a house without family and leading his life as a criminal but despite of all these he was determined to fight back for freedom and especially the system of apartheid policy that he can release his people and set them free from white supremacy so monk means a man who lives his life under promises and poverty and leaves everything such as home family and friends etc further he says i am no more virtuous or self sacrificing than the next man so here he is saying that i am no more virtuous that means he was no more respected man or a person who follows all the rules and regulations in his life given by the authority another thing is that white people considering him as a criminal and behaving with him like a criminal and says he also started considering himself equal to any other criminal and they were also treating him in the same way like other any criminal so virtuous means a person who shows high moral standards and who follows all the rules and regulations so that's why he is saying that i am no more virtuous or self sacrificing than the next man and says but i found that i could not even enjoy the poor and limited freedoms i was allowed when i knew my people were not free that means whatever freedom he had at that time he was not able to enjoy these poor and limited freedoms that means small and silly freedoms and then he understood that uh, he and people like him were not able to enjoy these freedoms even they are not able to do things freely in their day to day life and understood real fact that they never had the basic rights or whatever limited and poor freedom they had they are not free to enjoy it freedom is indivisible the chains on any one of my people were the chains on all of them the chains on all of my people were the chains on me so here he is saying that freedom is indivisible that means something that cannot be divided or unable to be to be separated so as per the nelson mandela freedom cannot be divided and if it is taken away from any individual it means freedom is taken away from him and from all his people and also says if the basic fundamental rights are restricted or divided that means freedom of all his people is taking away from them i knew that the oppressor must be liberated just as surely as the oppressed so here he is saying that i knew that the oppressor that means he knew a person who tortures other must be liberated that means this person must be free from all bondages or he must be set free just like a person who is oppressed so he says both who torturing a man and a person who is being tortured should be free equally and it is very necessary otherwise hatred among black skinned people will increase and it will be very hard for them to come together or to be united a man who takes away another man's freedom is a prisoner of hatred so here he is saying that a person who is torturing another person also belong to the same community of black skinned people and he was also found illegally guilty of breaking laws 
or doing other activities and then became a prisoner and now this man is forced to torture another man and then becomes a prisoner of hatred that means all the people whom he had been torturing will start hating him and look forward to the chance to torture him back in revenge so that's why he is saying that both oppressor and a person who is being oppressed should be free and says he is locked behind the bars of prejudice and narrow mindedness so here he is saying that such people will remain behind the bar even after being tortured and oppressed and this man will become narrow mindedness that means they will become selfish and think only about themselves and not others and it will be very hard for black skinned people to set free from black uh, white supremacy and will not enjoy human rights to do things freely in their life further he says i am not truly free if i am taking away someone else's freedom so here he is saying that such a person who is taking away or snatching others freedom is not free himself and this person is also not able to enjoy small freedom as well and says just as surely as i am not free when my freedom is taken away from me that means he feels that it is easy for a man who is taking away someone else's freedom and then making them a prisoner because he was arrested in the same way and became a prisoner illegally and forced to arrest or torture other innocent people and raise who raise their voices for the freedom or for the fundamental rights so in this way this process of arresting dragging and making people a prisoner made nelson mandela concerned the oppressed and the oppressor alike are robbed of their humanity so here he is saying that both of them the oppressed and the oppressor that means a person who is being tortured or bearing physical pain or losing their freedom is called oppressed and a person who tortures or arrest other innocent people illegally is called oppressor so in south africa both of these people were not free but hated and torturing each other as per their uh, as per the given instruction by the white people so that they will hate each other and never raise their voices for freedom in this way both oppressed and oppressor were losing their humanity that means they were losing their good human qualities so in the end nelson mandela is saying that both black skinned men losing their humanity and start hating each other so in the end nelson mandela is saying both black skinned men losing their humanity and start hating each other so he says both of them should be free from this apartheid system and they need to be free from the chain of inhumanity so this is the end of the chapter long walk to freedom written by nelson mandela i hope you like the video for more informative videos do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever new video will be uploaded so thank you so much for watching once again stay safe stay healthy